Millions of people are about to feel what I'm talking about. The first thing is the benefits that are lost. I think it's important to see all of this and understand how it connects with the entire economy, even if it doesn't affect you directly. The second thing I want to look at is food prices. They are skyrocketing right now. I'll give you the information directly from the source on an international scale. And the third thing I want to look at is an update on what's happening with China. I'm going to give you some details around that and I've got a lot more as well. So stay tuned. Let's go. So I've got a few things to cover first. Let's look at the jobs report adding fresh concerns over Monday's unemployment cliff. So by the time you're watching this, it's Monday. This is happening. It is on now. More than 9 million Americans are set to lose their unemployment benefits and millions more will see their weekly incomes plummet as a host of the federal uh, jobless aid programs expire. These three, uh, three programs covering a combined 12 million people will end on Monday. I've already done a video about this. If you haven't seen that already, definitely check it out. But this is just giving you a little bit more detail, okay, really quickly. 26 states pulled out of at least some of the programs earlier this summer as businesses struggled to fill the record-breaking 9 million job openings. So you've got a weird situation today, a lot of job openings, yet a lot of people who aren't working. There are 5.4 million gig workers, contractors, and others not covered by traditional unemployment insurance who will lose their weekly benefits earlier next Next week, another 3.9 million workers receiving extended aid will also see them disappear. What's going to happen? Are the states going to come in? In some cases, of course, that is absolutely going to occur. You know that they have to do this if there's an election going on. They have to do this if they want votes. They have to do this if they want to prevent any sort of rioting in the streets. Jobless Americans are stuck in a backlog nightmare as the benefits expire. So beyond everything, we've seen this since day one, there's always the red tape, the bureaucracy, and the nonsense that happens when it's a simple matter of from point A to point B and it doesn't get there. There's confusion. People feel on the forms wrong. Uh, you know, you're clicking this and that and it doesn't happen. The website is shut down. You try to phone them. They don't answer. All these things that occur preventing you from getting what should be something very simple. People who are owed thousands of dollars in unemployment insurance are fighting bureaucratic delays. So we don't know what the particular situation is for this individual and for other individuals, but there I listed just a bunch of things it can be. She says it is become so frustrating. It's wearing on me. It's wearing on my blood pressure. I can feel it. All right. Just giving you more of the details and so on. Millions and millions of people will be affected by it. And look, what happened here? The government set out a large number of you know, earmarked that, you know, we're going to spend this much money on people. And then they don't, didn't even spend that much money, even though the amount that they have promised to give out uh, is something that will ultimately have to be filled back in by taxpayers. You're going to increase taxes in order to resolve the problem when we should just be, maybe don't take the taxes from people in the first place so that they have more money. Anyway, this is an article connecting with that same information, talking about these programs that are ending right now, the federal eviction moratorium already expiring. They're mentioning that. So you've got these two things converging at the same time time multiple things in fact and this is going to spell disaster we know that it is an absolute fact but as i'll talk about more in a minute it's going to be spotty depending on where you look other aspects of the assistance include rental aid and the expanded child tax credit they are still widely available untold millions of americans will face labor day with a suddenly shrunken social safety net this will be a double whammy of hardship and are saying quote we are not anywhere near done people still need help from millions of people nothing has changed from a year and a half ago and this is something that i bring up all the time for certain people business as usual and other people, it's been better than ever. But for millions and millions, they are in the worst shape they've ever been. Many haven't even recovered from the financial crisis, never mind 2020. We look at this. Food prices. Global food commodity prices rebound in August, coming directly from the FDA. 
A-O. Sugar, wheat, palm oil push up the index. So you talk about the food prices rising and you look at the official rates which have gone up considerably. It's still such a low number. But even using this index here, the FAO, sugar price rose 9.6% unbelievable vegetable oil price 6.7 percent cereal price 3.4 percent going up the meat prices went up cereal supplies talking about that because of all the grains and so on go down the list guess what everything is up it's all up okay look at the food price index this red line in here that's 2021 basically if you can see this i don't know why by the way the graphic that they use is so small on this website it's ridiculous this is zoomed in all the way this is 2020. So from the bottom of 2020, March 2020, and then it goes all the way through to the end of the year. And then here's 2021. And guess what? It's up, up, and away. That's the food, the, the actual index itself. And then you look at the uh, food commodity prices broken down, vegetable oil, cereal, dairy, meat. All of them are up, up, and away over this period uh, from 2020 and beyond depending on which one of course you're going to see these differences but they're all up look at the crb raw industrials index something that i've shown you but what i want to give you sort of an idea of look at it look at the rate of acceleration so you saw 2015 this is bouncing up and the rate it came down after peaking out in the beginning of 2018 you know these are ebbs and flows it's going to happen with anything but the rate at which it's been increasing has never been experienced before. Financial crisis time frame, you can see how it comes down and then rockets back up. This is raw materials index, okay? These certain things don't happen too often. And by the way, the rate at which we're seeing today, it looks like it's never happened before in history. But the point I'm trying to make here is that this impacts people because it doesn't happen over three years. It doesn't happen over 10 years. It happens basically overnight. So if somebody is subsisting off, uh, you know, just, just barely, just barely making it, and you, you know, the rent moratorium goes out. And even if they're still living there, maybe this got to go through the courts and so on. Everything changes for them. So we could see increase in crime. We could see increase in people, you know, having to, um, you know, cohabitat or whatever you, whatever the, the correct term is. They're, they have to basically live two, three, four, five, ten people to a household. And these things, hey, if you got to do it, you got to do it. But what happens to the real estate as a result? Suddenly, oh, I can't rent there anymore. I can't rent there anymore. You've got problems. Then you add on top of that, the food price is rising. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to be able to afford that product. I'm going to have to cut back entirely. I'm going to have to eat less meals. I'm going to have to eat once a day instead of twice a day or two times instead of three times. And all this stuff, all of this stuff. Why? Why? Yes, there's supply chain problems. Yes, there's problems going on with the f production of anything. You get crop shortages, this and that. But nobody ever talks about the most important factor for all of it, the Federal Reserve. The activities of the Federal Reserve and the other central banks around the world are clearly responsible for the damages of the inflation. The inflation is the expansion of the monetary supply, and they are the number one reason why millions of people do not have a safety net and that is putting them at risk today this is coming from so many angles all at once some states have came in and they have tried to backstop this issue but can it persist I believe what we're seeing right now will have a localized impact on the economy. So you will see this if you go down, narrow it down to particular areas that are seeing a lot of people. Maybe they were, you know, relying on some sort of stimulus. That stimulus is gone, the rent moratoriums and so on. I think this will impact those areas, the little pockets. And then you're, go you're going to see the, the food bank lineups getting worse, food stamp usage getting worse, real estate or rent or anything like this, but it's all going to be in pockets and affecting a lot of people as a whole.
So I want to talk about what's happening with this particular company, Tesla, because, you know, you look at it and everybody's talking about it in the financial industry, how this company is the future, the future, the future. But you have to understand something. Look, Tesla aims to release a $25,000 electric car in 2023, likely will not have a steering wheel. Okay. What we need to understand is the reality and the fiction. We've been told a lot of things, not just from Tesla, okay? Not just from Tesla, but from the markets, from the analysts, from those who make these predictions and so on. And very, very rarely do they ever come out to be true. I just wanted to tell you that I think it's important personally for me to see this kind of information never come into fruition and then people are you know it's kind of like well who cares because I'm, I'm already concerned about what the next thing is do you ever do you ever see that you know that you know it'll be here next year it'll be here three months from now then that time comes but people are already concerned about the next thing there's so many th- information is traveling so fast that people forget this is incredible mesh talk right here Pension obligation, uh, pension obligation bonds contributed to the Chapter 9 bankruptcies of Detroit, Stockton, California, and San Bernardino, California. Nonetheless, expanding bubble have lured expanding bubble have lured government bodies into repeating the past mistakes. This time at a new record pace. Hooray! We broke the pace of 2008. Main Street pensions take Wall Street gamble. Bond issued for pension funding. Your pension funds will be slashed. Your pension funds will be slashed. I have said this many times and I've been criticized about it and yet they have done it many times times you look around whether it was i believe dallas if i remember correctly i covered it here before they've done this private don't worry public's going to get the slash in two and how do they do this oh my goodness how can they do this they will have to do it do you think the federal reserve is going to come in and backstop that absolutely not there is no evidence to support that whatsoever whatsoever they might have a way to impoverish people to a certain degree to get them to accept a universal basic income and somehow connect that into the central bank digital currency maybe 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 that's all speculation so we'll see and then i want to look at this really quickly and then we'll get it to china froth in the stock market makes an impending correction look almost obvious remember they're talking about a correction correction is defined by 10 percent to 20 percent essentially once you get into 20 percent that's a bear market correction they're talking about any and some people even consider a five percent to be a correction so we'll see there's a huge amount of froth in the marketplace right now uh right now much like we've seen in other important tops of the market that only became obvious in hindsight obviously you see the market going up at day after day after day after day and this usually doesn't end well because a lot of people get in at that very tippy top now we have a similar situation you have the meme stocks which are flying they're not going to change the world these stocks are going up over two thousand percent in a few days you have these SPACs going crazy and by the way SPACs have performed terribly more recently we have a stock market that is very very expensive and the market is overbought you can see the percentages and how it looks compared to the 200 week moving average and it has deviated considerably never seen anything like this even during 2017 which was a magical unicorn kind of environment in fact if you love unicorns i want you to show your love for unicorns how can you do that it's pretty easy all you gotta do is hit that thumbs up button when you do the unicorns are able to grow a pair of wings and uh you're helping them out so thank you for doing that show your love now i talked about this in the previous video i did evergrande the company um in, in china the biggest property developer they have 300 billion dollars worth of debt that's my understanding and this was something from uh you know a few days ago but take a look brand new info clock text for evergrande as 7.4 billion dollars of bonds is due in 2022 developer dollar notes fell to record lows on default risk this is big this is big because some are calling this the lehman moment potentially for china evergrande needs to repay some 7.4 billion dollars of maturing bonds next year take a look at that 
if you are willing to, if you are interested. I think personally that this could be very chaotic. Maybe the government will step in, nationalize the company. We will see, but I will give you all of the updates. If you're not an insider already, you have to be. Why? Because that's my way to get to you directly. We can get around the censorship and the shadow banning and all of that. And it's free, completely free. I'll send you the video of the day, five days a week, comes directly into your inbox. Check it out at this card up here, or you can just sign up at themoneygps.com. But hold on. Did you make that unicorn smile? Oh my goodness, why, why, why not? You can do that. Hit the thumbs up button, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And if you haven't seen this video already, you definitely wanna check it out, click it, and I'll see you there.